All right, first GoPro Hero 9 test of the day. We're gonna do a little slow-mo shooting on the back of an RC car chased by a ferocious beast. He's ferocious. Go oh, get it! This is gonna be a first look at the GoPro Hero 9. I haven't actually taken a look at this yet. Uh, this is my first unboxing of it and I'm really excited to dive into it. So let's get going. I like this case already. So it comes, comes with this case thing for the GoPro. Pop that open. Oh. oh, I'm so glad we have replaceable lenses back. Awesome, okay. So we got our GoPro and our now with bigger battery battery. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the GoPro. Let's compare it to an eight really quick, which I also just got a new one because I had some broken ones from the uh, freestyle video recently. It does look pretty big compared, but it's not that big. It really isn't that much heavier to be honest either. Definitely looks taller, so it's bigger in every way. Look at that. Stick our battery in and power it up. Can I put an old battery in it? Let's find out. Oh, definitely not. That's a no-go. Only the new battery works. And it's dead, so we gotta charge it up. So we'll be back in a minute once this is done charging. Let's take a look at all of the option menus here on the GoPro 9. I'm excited to go through these, see what it's like. First power up right there. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. GoPro. Okay, so you can go up to 5K at a maximum FPS of 30, it looks like. At 4K, 4x3, still are limited to 30. 2.7K, 4x3, still limited to 60. So that's pretty much, for people that use Real Steady, that's pretty much the same as what we're used to having. So that doesn't change too much there in terms of, for like, for, because 2.7K, 60 is what I like. I'd love to have 2.7K, 120, 4x3, but that's okay. Let's see. So 4K, we can go up to 60, 2.7K, 4x3, we can go up to 120. That's pretty sweet. Can we do Super View with that or Hyper Smooth? Yes. All right, so we can do Super View, 2.7K, 60. So go up to 120, so you can go 2.7K, 120, but then the lens is wide, so you don't have the Super View effect with Hyper Smooth on. So it looks like you're still, you know, that doesn't really change that much for drone people either. So you're still limited to, I would assume, 1080, yeah. 1080 to go up to 120. Can you do 1080 240? Yeah, you can do 1080 120 super view hyper smooth, but you can't do 240. 5K 30 lens option only is wide, so you're you don't get super view in 5K. 4K 30 super view hyper smooth, yes. Bit rate high, shutter auto for now, max ISO. Let's go 400. Sharpness, medium, color, flat. Cool. All right, so we've got a setting with hyper smooth that's looking good. <clears throat> Let's do another setting without hyper smooth. Yeah, if you have the lens in super view, you have to have hyper smooth on for some reason. Weird. <clears throat> this hyper smooth boost setting is bizarre. It's gonna be really hard to see it. But like weird delay, smoothing, huh. All right, so we've got a bunch of different settings that we can play with on video. So we'll get some flying in on each of those. Oh, look at that. Hi. Yeah, let's just get to flying. Okay, so the comparisons that we're gonna do are, so the primary thing that we're interested in is HyperSmooth 3.0. We also have HyperSmooth 2.0 on the old GoPro Hero 8. But not only that, the GoPro 8 has real steady go which I think is still gonna be the king for now. We're still waiting on a new version of Real Steady for the uh, GoPro 9. And then we'll also check out Flow State on the Insta360 ONE R. So we'll compare each stabilization against each other. So we'll do one flight that's like this, we'll do one flight that's like this, and we'll do one flight that's like this. And we'll be able to see side by side how each of those stacks up against each other. 
So we filmed a video all day about the GoPro Hero 9. Brand new, all that goodness. We had so much fun chasing buggies and doing freestyle and comparing against the Hero 8 and comparing against the Insta360 ONE R and all this great stuff. And we get back to my house and we're checking the card and SD card error. And we're watching through the footage from this camera that we're watching and we have this from reaction. the car through the sun. <laughs> That is nuts. We're literally <gasps> losing our minds. It's just bouncing, dude. Over how good this footage looks. And it is gone. Just wait. <laughs> you hear how excited he is? Oh, you can see it bouncing off the drone, too. That's a different person than what you're getting right now because the footage is gone. Gnarly. Okay, that's cool. Oh, yes. Give me, give me a reaction here. Dude, it just looks so unreal. So we're gonna film the whole thing again tomorrow. This is why we stay flying. Well, after the SD card failures yesterday, we decided to come back out to this spot to film again. It's not gonna be golden hour anymore, which kind of sucks, but you know, with the trees and it looks all right back here still. So we're gonna film a bunch of different things. We've gotta compare the GoPro 9 to the 8. We gotta compare Hypersmooth 3.0 and 2.0. We've gotta compare flow state from Insta360. And then we're gonna give you some with just nothing. It'll be straight out of the body of the camera, the way it looks. All of the footage that you see compared in the video is available to watch on YouTube like as its own clip so you can watch the whole thing and really dive in and pixel peep and all that stuff that is your option I would not do it because I'm a lazy bum but some people out there really like to see the differences not only that we're gonna put the camera on the little RC car do it some jumps do some cine whoop uh, chasing do some slow motion all that good stuff so I hope you like taking a look at a bunch of different types of footage for the GoPro 9 and let's get into it. All right, first test of the day. First retest of the day. GoPro Hero 8 versus 9, 4K at 30, hyper smooth, normal on super view frame.
Uh, it looks good. I almost caught it. I, sl I definitely slowed it down. I was just trying to take a peek at him. And I backed up and got like wedged in the V. I was just trying to take a peek at a hawk that was chasing me. So I figured I could chase him back if that's the case. I was out over here minding my own business. And he perched up on one of these trees and I kind of just city whooped in and got a good peek at him. So that'll be on here. Yeah, on my way back out, I backed into a tree and got it wedged up here. And I tried to catch it because I got like, you know, a thousand dollars worth of GoPros on here right now. You guys are gonna be mad about that. <sighs> All right, first sign of wear on the GoPro here. The uh, the prop tried to eat my GoPro. <laughs> it's got a little bit of scarring on the plastic housing, but the screen didn't break, which I'm pretty impressed with. I think it just flung gunk on it, but uh, yeah, so. Should be good. One thing that I've been wondering is like, because the hypersmooth is so good, could you fake it as a gimbal? So like, what if we did a tracking shot where I'll like walk or run and Winston will film me with the car and I'll kind of chase the car and we'll try to get like a nice like action shot almost. We did a shot walking across the bridge, super slow-mo from the car, and we're just kind of, yeah, right here. So we're watching that back right now. And it is awesome. <laughs> How big is that? That's phenomenal. All right, I'm gonna watch the running ones. I mean, that's potential. It's that does look phenomenal though. All right, we're gonna do a little cine whooping, chasing the RC car through these awesome leaves and stuff with the uh, 1080-120 Hyper Smooth Boost. guys just finished a shot uh, we were chasing the RC car with the Cine Whoop and I noticed that a lot of you aren't actually subscribed in fact only 25% of you so you should definitely go down there click that subscribe button because we're out here breaking gear for you and you need to subscribe right now All right, we're all done shooting for the day with the GoPro 9. It's been awesome. I've looked at the back of the camera a couple times. I mean, we looked at it a bunch yesterday and it was awesome yesterday. It's okay today, but that's fine. And I'm really excited to get these on the computer and take a look at everything side by side and see what I like more. I'm really liking, especially the slow-mo features of the GoPro 9. Uh, really excited to see how that turns out. So thanks very much for watching. I'm not gonna give you an affiliate link for GoPros because you need to go buy it from Best Buy, but all of the parts, all of the equipment that's used in this video, links in the description below. You buy those, it helps me out a lot. Be sure to subscribe be sure to like all that youtuber stuff and stay flying
almost there. GoPro 9. GoPro 9.